Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the second part of B of question number eleven. And again, in this question, you are given a kite A B C D, and in this, we have to prove that the line drawn through G and parallel to E F means if I draw a line through G, which is parallel to E F, bisects. DA means this line should bisect DA means this point. If I consider that this at this as x, this part and this part must be equal. Then only this will bisect, or you can say divide this into two equal parts. Or in other words, you have to prove that x is the midpoint of DA. To prove that, what I have to do is I have to Divide this into two triangles, which is ADB and DCB. First of all, if I if I look at this triangle, which is DCB, so in triangle this F and E are the midpoints, which is given to you in the question, and in this triangle, if I join these two midpoints. So clearly, this line must be parallel to this, and this line must be half of this. So if this is line, if this line is parallel to this, and this line is given parallel to this, so clearly this line must also be parallel to this. So we have concluded that DB is parallel to XG, and according to midpoint theorem, if from the midpoint I draw a parallel line. Because these two lines are parallel, so it should again meet the midpoint of this third line. So that is how we can prove that X is the midpoint. Now let's solve in triangle DBC. E and F are the midpoints. This is given to you. And if I join midpoints, so according to midpoint theorem, EF must be parallel to DB. This is because of midpoint theorem. And if EF is parallel to DB and EF is parallel to XG, this is given to you. Here it is given that parallel to EF. So by these two equations, we can conclude that XG must be parallel to DB. So from this first equation. And from the second equation, I have concluded that XG must be parallel to DB. Now, I have proved that this line XG is parallel to DB, and G is given the midpoint. And again, 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 according to midpoint theorem, if I draw a parallel line from a midpoint, it should meet the midpoint to the other side. So, this is parallel to this. And G is the midpoint, so X should also be the midpoint. This is because of midpoint theorem. So this is how you can prove. And if X is the midpoint, so clearly this part and this part must be equal. And in that case, we can say. X bisects DA. So this is how you can solve this part. Thank you.